why do I have to do some more conversions? I don't have the units I want. The question wants it per gram, per one gram. So, uh, let's try this. So right now I have energy, and that's in units of joules per nuclei. So again, from that equals mc squared, I get this unit. I'm going to convert, and this is a, uh, what you call, kind of just a typical conversion to, think of a 2A conversion. I'm going to convert nuclei to grams. Well, first I'm going to convert to moles, okay? and there's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd nuclei per mole. So that's Avogadro's number. It's atoms per mole, molecules per mole, particles per mole, whatever unit you need up here at the top, in this case nuclei per mole. And now I want to convert moles to grams. How will I do that? Just use the molar mass of uranium given in the problem. We've got moles on top, 235.04. So now it's in joules per gram. I'm just going to do one more multiplication. I know there's one gram in this problem. If it was 5 grams, I'd multiply by 5 grams of uranium. If it was 74 grams, I'd multiply by 74. Whatever the amount of grams, in this case it said 1 gram of uranium-235. When you multiply that all out, you get negative. Uh, oh, I'll, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. Seven point four times ten to the ten joules, so a huge order of magnitude. Technically, uh, it's it's a negative. Why is it technically a negative? The mass is negative. What does negative mean for energy? <coughs> yeah, it's given off. So, however you want to write it, you can write uh, given off for the reaction. Or if you want to write the negative, however you want to do it. Does that make sense? So the negative just tells you it's energy going out of the system. Okay? Into your house to power your car, your light switch, whatever. Okay? Okay. There is another way you could have done this problem or other ways you could have done this problem if you wanted to. So let me go back a little bit and just show you how you could have done it if you felt like it. Uh, let's say you, you were given change in mass, or you calculated minus 0.19 U. Okay, so that's what you calculated originally. So that was way back when. You could have used the following conversion, and I'll just use the one that I'm going to give you on the exam, uh, which I'll, I'll post this conversion. Uh, you saw earlier you could go between joules. Uh, and kilograms, and uh, let me see where I put that. Or did I, did I give it to you earlier? Ah, uh, here we go. You saw earlier that uh, 5 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms equals 1.4924 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. So I gave you this conversion earlier. What you could have done, be, instead of using the equals mc squared formula, uh, literally, you could have just said, well, I've got, oh, and this equals how many u? Let me see. And this equals 1 u. What you could have done is said, oh, I have 0.19 u. Let's just consider this a conversion type problem and say, well, 1 u, I want to convert that to joules, and that's 1.4924 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. There we go. And that would have given you a joule per nuclei answer which would have been the same as this answer up here. 
Does that make sense? So if you prefer, hey, I'd rather do a conversion, I'm not going to directly use Einstein's formula. That's fine. In fact, they're both doing the same thing. Uh, it just, if you want to actually write down the formula, or if you'd rather just kind of do unit analysis and go from U to joules. Okay? So either way, or you can move on from U to mega electron volts, whatever the problem specifies. You would still have to, from here, go to <coughs> per one gram of it. So you'd still have to do that very last conversion. Yes? Uh, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you took back your question. No. For yeah. the previous thing, when you changed it to gram, you said we could multiply it by five if you have a different number of grams. Right here, yes. Yeah, so the uh, grams cancel, so you would have your answer in joules. But in joules. But you said you wanted the joules to be gram. Yeah, so technically, this is, you're going to get units of joules per one gram of the reactant uranium-235. Let's say you had, were given five grams. That would be the amount of joules per five grams of your original reactant. So Does you, that make sense? We, we wouldn't need to write joules per gram. No, you wouldn't necessarily write the units joules per gram. It would just be... Yeah, yeah. does that make sense? So it's per 1.0 gram because you're multiplying for it. If it was five, it would be per five grams. But you're just giving the answer in joules. 